The following animation will illustrate the refrigerant cycle and flow sequence for Carrier's non-economized 19MV water-cooled centrifugal chiller. We begin in the 19MV's evaporator, where refrigerant pressure is reduced by the compressor suction. The reduced pressure causes the refrigerant to boil at a relatively low temperature. The energy required for boiling is obtained from the water flowing through the evaporator tubes. With heat energy removed, the water becomes cold enough to use in an air conditioning circuit or process liquid cooling. The refrigerant vapor is now drawn from the evaporator into the 19MV's back-to-back two-stage compressor. Flow is controlled by the position of the first stage inlet guide vane and the first stage impeller compresses the refrigerant vapor to an intermediate temperature and pressure. The compressor's second stage inlet guide vane helps equalize load between the two stages of the compressor, while the impeller accelerates the vapor, further increasing its temperature and pressure. The vapor now exits the second stage compressor and enters the 19MV's condenser. Water flowing through the condenser tubes removes energy from the refrigerant vapor. The vapor condenses to a liquid, collecting in the sensible subcooler at the bottom of the condenser. The subcooler extracts additional heat from the liquid refrigerant, reducing its temperature. The refrigerant liquid continues through the expansion control system to become a low pressure liquid, which enters the evaporator to complete the cycle. The expansion control system adapts to the various conditions the chiller encounters. When low condenser water conditions exist, the 19MV will continue to run without the use of hot gas bypass. Thus, the 19MV can maintain stable and efficient operation, providing unconditional performance.